Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and today we are continuing with the 100 Dragon Challenge. Now, this one, for sure, has been the most requested video for, like, ever. I think it's been like this since I started this challenge. So today, we are finally doing the Steampunk Dragon. You guys have been asking for it, and if you guys watched the WonderCon vlog, you actually probably got a sneak peek on what the final one is going to be today. But let's go ahead and jump in and start with some sketches. So I had a general idea of kind of what I wanted to do with this one. I knew I just wanted to really go overboard with all of the steampunk elements. We would have air vents. I wanted to for sure show like maybe some part of the boiling water and just really show the steam coming off of this guy. And I think it fits really well with the dragon aesthetic since a lot of dragons are obviously paired with heat or fire or smoke. Um, I thought all those things still lended really well to a dragon, so I wanted to make sure those were accentuated. So first I started with more of a, uh, I guess you could say a boxy mechanical one, kind of like a, an old boxy car or um, like old machinery tends to not be like super smooth and slim, kind of like how like modern cars are. So I wanted to really emphasize the boxiness but then I was like I kind of like the idea of making him kind of uh have a pointed face giving him a particularly kind of like a, a bird look like a steampunk bird dragon and I realize now that I'm recording this um I think I must have been like subconsciously inspired by the giant bird that's in the Bioshock game like I just remembered that just now because I was comparing this to a bird shape I absolutely love the designs of a lot of the steampunk stuff in uh, those games, and so I must have been subconsciously inspired to make this a little bird-like. And this really worked well because I did like the boxy one and giving him more of a square jaw, but I love these like gnarly teeth that just kind of poke out and stick out, and you can kind of see how they were soldered on. And you also get the illusion of the gums just based off of like the little loops that the uh, the teeth are sitting in. I guess they're not called loops. The divots. I don't know. The little things that the teeth are sitting in. And then I got to show off a really cool pointed tongue and just this overall head shape I really liked and I thought I could replicate a similar look and feel throughout the rest of the body of the dragon. So I did kind of a little bit of a rough sketch. I knew I wanted him to be kind of more like a Asian lung design. I could foresee this being in a really cool like comic maybe some type of uh, steampunk China would be really cool. Like when uh, we had the colonials colonialization, there we go, of China, this would be a really cool thing for some worker to have. I'm gonna, maybe I'll make that one day. This is my, this is my note to remember what a cool idea that was. <laughs> So now with the rough sketch done out of the way, it's time to try to figure out this finalized pose. So even though this guy was mechanical, I kind of wanted to be able to show the twist and turns of its body. Um, I've noticed steampunk kind of goes between a couple things. They either have the curvature of the body be very fluid, kind of like modern technology is, and just has a, I guess the best way to describe it is like Dr. Octavius's arms from Spider-Man. They're able to turn and move and work really well. Or you have the other version, which is much more clunky and boxy and kind of like old mechanics. And I wanted something that was a nice in-between. I didn't want just like super clunky big guy and I didn't want it to be super smooth and modern. I was like, I think we can get a nice in-between, which I felt we did. Like the body still kind of follows the smooth uh, I, I can't think of the word. There's a car term that I'm thinking of, but I cannot place it. But I guess aerodynamic, not aerodynamic. That's not the right word either. But, you know, something that could move really well and efficiently, I thought would work really nicely for the body. But then I added a lot of aspects that felt like a more clunky old technology steampunk, like the legs. I added a lot of big gears and like what looks like clockwork on it. A lot of people at WonderCon actually called this the clockwork dragon. And I'm like, no, that's fair. I put a, a giant clock on its face and it just has all these like cool little gears all over it. So I for sure wanted to add those clunky bits and then even its chest has the big plates going up and down it. And I think the biggest 
thing that's like the clunky aspect of it is its boiler belly. I really liked that addition and it is kind of a flaw in the design because if someone was able to like break the glass of the boiler belly, this guy probably wouldn't be able to move anymore. But it still was a really fun aspect to add for sure and I think it adds a really nice touch to this guy. So we have the basically the initial line art done. I'm adding a couple thicker lines here and there to really emphasize and make certain things pop and kind of show uh, what's overlaying what. Uh, I think I've talked about in a previous video, but I tend to add the thicker outlines for things that are a little bit closer to you or need to overlay other parts to add a little bit of pop, and uh, especially on the, the focus point. So I really wanted to put it on the face for sure. So now with the line art out of the way, it was time to pick colors. So for this guy, I knew I wanted to do like a brassy yellow steampunky look. I know uh, I've seen like silver, gold and bronze for a lot of steampunk stuff, but I wanted to make this guy like a golden bronze combo. I just imagine that working really well for him and then also having the ability to pop other colors off of that. Uh, for example, the in between of his ears, I guess you could call them ears. Uh, they, I wanted them to look like old, like, cloth sales flaps. Uh, I know I didn't make them, you'll see later on, I didn't make them, like, white sails, like, like a boat sail white, but it just reminded me of something similar to that, so I made them this really nice maroon color, and it, it's gonna pop really well with these yellows and golds. First, I started off with the steam, though, because I wanted to make sure to figure out, like, where to put the different steam clouds and steam billows so then I could color around them when I got to the golds because I had to plan that out ahead of time because you can't you can't put the yellows down and then try to put steam over it it won't work so for sure I needed to start with that and then I went in and did my lightest colors first and then mid-tones and then dark tones for all of the brassy colors and I think this is probably one of my favorite dragons like between the different tones of color and the different like bits and bobs all around him I just love him and he was a lot of work but really worth it I think he turned out really fantastic and was just a blast to do and then it was also fun with the shading and uh, using the Copics I could add like kind of what looks like scuff marks or like scratches you can add like little divots and texture to the metal by just adding the mid-tone or the dark tone here and there. And I think it worked really well on the chest. I think that's my favorite part for where I added the different tones there. I think it just worked really well and I was so proud of that part. So I know you guys have been waiting for this video forever and I was really excited to do it and I could not wait to show this to you guys, but it's right around this time that I made a very grave realization that I was going to regret for quite a while and that's probably the main reason why this video hasn't come out for quite a while. Let me show you why. God, that took so long. All right, I'm just gonna press stop record and just call it a night from here. Oh, Okay, I know for a fact I didn't forget to press record. Maybe it's like just in the folder and maybe I just subconsciously did it earlier. It's not there. Okay, um, what if I accidentally saved it in my desktop? Let's check there. It's not there either. Fuck. Okay, no, this is just, this is bullshit. 
I know for a fact I pressed record. You're stupid. Everyone's been asking for this thing over and over. There's been hundreds of comments about this stupid steampunk dragon. It looks great. I forget to press record. I'm fucking pissed because now no one will be able to see my progress. And I'm stuck here with this art piece done and I have no fucking film. <sighs> <laughs> you know what? I bet I could fake it. I'll just redraw the dragon real quick. It will look just the same. And I can fake it. They won't know the difference at all. And I'm just I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make this the best dragon ever. Oh my god. Okay, we'll put the leg here and some horns and the tail. <laughs> 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 It's done. It's perfect. Okay, I just gotta color it again and I'll just zoom in on parts. They won't even know the difference. All right, I'm just gonna, I just gotta get it done. Just gotta, gotta get it done. God, what the hell am I even doing? This is just garbage. I don't know what to do. I lost my perfect one. I don't have a recording and this looks like shit. You know, I just, I don't even care anymore. Just, just. <laughs> you know, you guys wanted a steampunk dragon, and instead, you get this. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for your patience. I'm sorry I only got half of it recorded, but oh well. Let's look at your guys' entries from last week, shall we? <sighs> wow, guys, some really creative entries. Good job. That one's cool. That one's pretty cool, too. Oh, yeah, and then, uh, winners. Yep, you guys did good. Good job on making those, uh, those dragons. Real nice work. 10 out of 10. Would do again. Yeah, no, that one's really good too. Yeah. Yep, better than my uh, my pitiful attempt, for sure. Yep, still great. You guys are blowing me away with your talent. And I'm sitting here depressed as fuck. Okay, no, but in all honesty, you guys did some amazing work for your St. Patrick's Day dragons. First off, Elliot cosplay, I love it. This is, I think, our first, like, body paint dragon combo really great work and i love your green cosplay interpretation of this dragon and then our bormera i think i pronounced your username right i really love that you integrated the bagpipes into this as well i never would have thought of that so really great work to both you and everyone else wonderful saint patrick's day dragons good work everyone and I cannot wait to see your guys' interpretations of the steampunk dragon. It was a little depressing that I lost the footage because I didn't hit record, but you know, we still had fun with this episode. So I cannot wait to see what you guys make for the steampunk dragon. So make sure to post it on Instagram or Twitter under the hashtag KM100Dragons. And that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video. And I hope you had fun with our little wacky video. So have a great rest of your day, guys, and I will see you all later. Bye, guys. You zooming in and out on me right now? Why you do this? Why you do this? <laughs> Two, one. Psst. Sorry, give me a second. I need to compose myself after being like. No, this friend. is where you do it. My audience knows me better than this. What is this garbage? <laughs> what was another You're line? Just smiling through the whole damn thing. <laughs> Fuck! I what, can't. Like, what the hell am I even doing? That's what it was. Line. <laughs> line. And this looks like shit! <laughs> I love you flapping the beer. <laughs> All right, you ready to do the beer? Yep. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, honey. We got enough just cut. Like, eh. <laughs> if I choke and die. Oh, tell my family Wait, I love them. <laughs> That's what I was gonna do. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, you ready? Yeah. You good? I'm good. This is the one take. All right. You know, I just, I don't even care anymore. Just, just. <laughs> <laughs>